Welcome to another episode of Fish in the Arctic. Nighttime fishing. I think it's about 6.30 p.m. Middle of January. We're gonna fish for some bourbon. We'll see you inside the tent. Cooked ourselves a little dinner on the buddy heater. Can eat that. We cut one bourbon already. We got the pan optics set up. Lots of uh, activity down there. School of bay fish now. It's good. Yeah, I slept through the night. Got a few bourbon. It wasn't fast and furious. I didn't really tune you in. It's kind of dark. And uh, the footage is not so great. So I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm still catching them. They've actually just started to turn up. So sun's coming up. I'm going to turn some cameras on. See what happens. All right, I got my lines back in the water, and that light is bright. There's a there's a giant fish just came in, so I wanted to turn a light on and uh, see if we can't get him to go. Just strolled in. Lights coming up, so uh, this one I've caught my biggest Lakers. A little later in the year, but uh, what is it? Quarter to nine. Big fish just strolled by. We're in 30 feet of water out on Great Slave Lake. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan Gregory. I'm the host of the Fish in the Arctic TV show. And yeah, we spent the night on the lake trying to catch some bourbon. I think we caught about, I don't know, eight or nine, I think. I've got four in the live well. Looking for a big one. I think the Derby Leader right now on the Fish Donkey app for Yellowknife Sport Fishing is 30 inches. So these guys are like 20 to 24. Got a bit of work to do. It's pretty cool. I got the Pan Optics Live Scope. I just picked this up. I'm just still learning how to use it. It's pretty simple. You just kind of turn it on and go. Adjust your gain and for your uh, quality of picture. It's pretty sensitive. Haven't had to do a whole lot at all. The mapping chip. Mm. Some areas okay. Kind of known areas. But out here there was nothing. It says it's one foot. Not too far away. So uh, they didn't do that great of a job with that one. But oh well. That's why I have two 10 inch graphs on my sled. It's kind of ridiculous. The other one's just for maps. I think I have to do an update. The transducer. I had a nice transducer, but it wouldn't work. I don't know why. Sometimes it's nice just checking holes, but I got the map. I can just drive, and it's exactly the depth it says it is. That's how I pick this spot. Just driving around late last night in the dark, and it uh, seemed to work out. Got some video. Uh, put the underwater camera down, and <laughs> had this big old burbot decided he wanted to eat the camera we got up close and personal with him it was kind of funny didn't do too much filming in the in the night it was kind of hit and miss every time i think about it the fish would bite for like an hour i fished all night and caught like eight or nine it was fast and furious got a bird out there or something maybe a fox Make a bird noise sometimes. He's coming here trying to steal my bait. My bars. I got some bait sitting outside. I have to go out and see what that is. <laughs> Should have brought the gun. Two ptarmigan just landed here. I think I'm kind of in city limits, so that's dead. -a. That's funny. Let's uh. Black pants won't help me. There they go. 
Oh, we got within like 15 feet. Here's the setup. With the Otter Monster Hub. It's like 8 feet by 14 feet. You can put so much stuff in it. Sled, she's still hooked up. She'll probably fire her up. Herbert don't really like the noise, so I'm just kind of hanging on. Yeah, she's awesome. Wide track really helps. I like to bring a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's uh, crazy how much stuff you need sometimes. Anyway, let's get back in the tent. Now the trick of the game is to not drop your gear down the hole. That's the only problem with this stuff. Oh, fish. Fish on! It's so cool, you can see them coming up on the panel. You can usually tell how big they are. He's just a uh, average size. Not huge. Nice thing with these guys is you can lip them. Squirm like a bugger though. You get all wrapped in your line. Yeah, there he is. It's a nice light colored one. They do this tail curl thing and they don't like to go straight. We'll just put this one back down. We got enough in the live well. See you later, dude. Thanks for getting everything wet. <laughs> That's cool. What's that going on over here? Oh. Always bring your ringy dingy bell. It uh, makes it a little easier when things are dark and you can't see. Surprised that one's not going. Oh, this one's really long. Looks like it could be multiple fish, but it looks like two or three feet. I can see increments in five feet, and he was uh, halfway, halfway in one of those boxes. Stuff moving around down there. There's lots of bugs. I put the camera down. There's these little, I don't know, some sort of underwater life going on in the middle of the night. It's crazy. You can see, uh, I think there's some stickleback. You see their eyes reflecting. Oh, big one cruised through. I believe it didn't grab that dead bait. Oh, there's a fish. Another burbot, feels like. Just have this kind of sponginess to them. Yeah, a lot of times, nice with a big spoon, is you can just grab the spoon. And, uh, hold them by the spoon and then chill out a little bit. Just a small guy, gonna get him back. Sometimes they chill out. So you get the pliers on that hook. Put the wrap in your line. They're really good at wrapping in the line. Dandy. I've caught a much bigger. I'm in a little competing in an online fishing derby right now for NWT. Hosted by Yellow Knife Sport Fishing. I'm looking for a 30 inch burbot or better. It's like a win. There's there's big ones out here. They're not I've caught a much bigger than that. I'm not sure if I've caught 30 inch or I never really measured them. But uh, it's catch and release derby, so I'm planning to keep these so I can't uh I can't enter them. They're too small anyway. Second place is the first loser. Oh. Got a fish on the dead stick. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one. Ringy dingy. 
if we got a circle hook on this rod over here, so but that hook, if you don't set the hook every time, right there in the corner of his mouth. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Sean! This one might be a big one. Oh, got a big fish on. I think it's a big burbot. But uh, it looks huge on the pen off. I don't know if you can see me of course. Lights it up again. Oh yeah, it's a big bourbon. Woo wee! That's a good one. Wait, measure that one. Alright, 31 inch burbot. Going back in the water. There she goes. Come here, big girl. Fish on. Wow, I just got a 31 inch burbot. I'd be leading the derby if my app didn't screw up. It took all the pictures, but I don't think that fish is going to count. 31 inches, leader is 30. I don't even, it didn't even save the pictures to my phone. It's messed up. I got it all on video, but I don't know if it's going to count. Anyway, keep fishing. All right, this is the setup. Just using a glow in the dark three quarter ounce spoon. This one's a blue fox, I think. Yeah, similar to a little Cleo. Barbara's treble hook. Paired up with a chunk of Cisco. You don't need to use a full Cisco. This will catch you like 10 fish. Anyway, I'm gonna get them back down there. Had a few hits. Had something take the set, the, the dead stick, but I missed them. Pen optics is working again. I think the battery's just cold. Every time you turn it off, let it sit. I can see fish moving around down there. It sorts itself out, so. Keep going. I have a spare battery if we have to. See if we can, uh, Catch a big giant trout would be nice. Just hanging out. I'm sure uh, any moment now I'll get the text to uh, come pick up the kids. They're going to be about three kilometers away. Hopefully uh, we still catch some burbot. That'd be cool. Anyway, I think we're going to uh, change her up maybe. Been rocking this glow in the dark spoon for far too long. Plus, we have no bait. Good excuse to change. Pack everything nice and tight in foam. And we're ready to rock. Boom, just like that. We're gonna put the spoon away first. Uh, where's that one go? Even putting some paper towel in here helps keep them down. Throw the dark spoon gone. Let me change it up. Use a tube jig with some bait on it. Harvest hook, five inch uh, Berkeley power tube. I got some other rods. I'm going to rig up some uh, bigger baits here soon. So I'll try this one to start. And here goes the pen optics. 
I guess I'm gonna have to not be lazy. There we go. Circle hooks just start reeling. We got them. Looks like it might be a burbot. Doesn't feel huge. Oh yeah, it's a small burbot. Let's go on this one. Of course, my pliers are right over here. Ooh, I see about burbs. You can flip them. Whoa. Fix that. I don't want that when the kids are coming. Get that one back. See you later, big guy. Here's the rig. Hooked up to the toboggan. We got the big, monstrous otter tent. I think it's called a monster hub. Okay. Check her out inside. Nice little walkway. And Optics has given us a little trouble there. Go to uh, try a new battery. Okay, there's the setup. Got the bed. Put your sleeping bag away uh, when you're not sleeping in it because hooks always find it. Probably sucks, so we're good. Don't even know where the hole was. We got the live well, got a few bourbon in there. We're gonna take them home. We're attempting to uh, fish in the Yellowknife Sport Fishing Fish Donkey Derby. So we got the ruler set up in a trench. Still uh, angry about my derby winning fish that uh, didn't seem to work out for me. Lots more gear. Nice thing about the toboggans, you just Everything's in here, I can pack up where it's nice and warm. And I can still fish. Okay, you just hang on to the rod. Daddy's gonna reel it, okay? Do you hang on up here? Up here, hang right here. Right here, yeah. Oh yeah, can you feel him pulling? Yep. It's another big in canoe. This one's a little bigger. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna put them in the live well this time, okay? Because there's room. How big do you think he is? How big? Look how big? Oh no, this one we gotta let go fast. They don't they don't like being out of the water. Here we go. Go snowmobile ride. Yeah. You want to go for a snowmobile ride? Soon. Yeah. So let's go for a snowmobile ride, buddy. Let's go though, real quick. 
It's not good to hold my the water too long. Wow, he just came right in. Oh. Nice thing is they have no teeth. Oh. Oh. See you bye. later. Bye-bye. That's it for today. Piles of burbot. Two nice ink canoe. Saw a great big giant pike around. I tried to get video of them. I don't I don't know. It'll be right here if I did. I don't think so, but I let a burbot go. And we could see it going down in the pan optics, and this pike just showed up. You could tell it was pike. It was like four feet long. And it just smoked the bourbon on the way down. I could see him on the on the underwater camera, but yeah, I think he's full. We'll come back next weekend and see if we can get him. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Gregory, and this is Fish in the Arctic. See you next weekend. <laughs>